going on everybody? This is Pat Man Trucking here with another video. Um, I know, um, I don't, I haven't really been posting that much. I posted a video not about a day or two ago, I think. But, um, a little update. Uh, the company I'm with has, like, I think they're like, they're getting on my nerves, man. <laughs> they're getting on my nerves. Um, because we got held up in orientation and uh, they lost our drug test so we had to stay another week and uh, we are supposed to get like three weeks without truck payments and they are supposed to push our truck payment back an extra week so it wasn't supposed to be took out this week but next week and like I made just enough money to have some money in my pocket this week to get back home because I was gone for almost a month during orientation and stuff and um, so I was like prepared for this little bit of money to come in so I could pay some bills. Well, they told us in orientation before we left that the truck payment was pushed back another week. Well, this week, the truck payment's getting took out. I have no money coming in. Uh, I broke even, like zero dollars. I don't owe them, they don't owe me. It's, but it's just a, the pure fact of what happened, man. Like, you're going to tell everybody in the class that we get an extra week, you know, for a truck payment so, because they held us back a week. Then it don't happen. Then I call my advisor at the place I got the truck from, and they said, oh, yeah, you're supposed to call us and ask us. Uh, don't listen to what they say. I'm like, what in the world, man? Because I'm fully expecting to, you know, they said, we got it all handled. We pushed it back away. You don't need to call them or nothing. Well, that's a little piece of advice. If you, if, uh, you need to always handle your own fucking business. Uh, so, uh, if you're driving for the company I'm driving for, you're coming to the company I'm driving for, y'all know what it is, but y'all will know what it is, it's, it's not, it's, it's a big company, and, uh, but, if you come to the company I'm driving for, don't believe anything they say, the orientation, because half of it's wrong, don't believe your recruiters, because half of that's wrong, just handle your business and go by what the paper says, don't, don't listen to nothing they say, if they say you don't have to call, you call, because it's you that's going to be hurting because of them. So that's my little piece of advice and my little rant for this video. So that's out of the way. Um, other than that, it's been going all right. Uh, I took out my home time her, her weeks end on Mondays. So I start my week on a Tuesday since our time goes in Monday. So I started Tuesday and I load from the house to Houston. I got a load from Houston. Georgia, that's the one I'm on now. And then I booked the load from Georgia back to the house in Charlotte. So I got, I pretty much, I did like a, it's not even a loop, it's just a line there and a line back. Pretty much, it's the same route I took down to Houston, it's the same route I'm taking back home. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do, I'm going to try to get some short runs because I think I can make just as much or even more money doing short runs near the house than I can going to Texas and back. Now, um, what I should have done was got a load from the house to Georgia, Georgia to Texas, Texas back to Georgia. So I got an extra run in for the week. But I'm still learning. I'm new to this owner operator thing. I'm new to picking my own loads. I've never really done that before. So this is all a learning experience. Y'all can learn with me. Um, I can't show y'all the load boards because that's confidential uh, for the company I'm with. Um, but I'm gonna book my loads. I'll tell you about the loads. I won't tell you where I'm going or nothing like that, like specific places. But I'll tell you like maybe the money I make and stuff like that. Um, right now, at, at the end of this week, I'm looking at bringing home in my pocket $1,200 after everything's said and done. 
but I mean, I haven't really worked that hard, and I'm still trying to figure out my load because I, I did this week. I did it where I, I could have picked up a load at the end of one load and started, you know, kept on going. But I, I'm still trying to get used to it. So after I drop one load off, I, I pick up the load the next day instead of that day, and I still have hours on my clock. Uh, so that's gonna take a little getting used to to figure out all that. I gotta get better. The, the trip plan has to get better because uh, I can I can plan my trips. That's no problem. But now I'm booking my own loads, so now I gotta find loads that's corresponding with the times I'm dropping stuff off and when I can pick them up. So I can. So it's a it's a learning experience. Um, I'm gonna try my best to share as much of it as I can with y'all. Um, after I get all my financial stuff back in order, um, I'm gonna get some GoPros and stuff and mount on the dash and get some like videos of uh, me driving down the road and stuff like that. Uh, so, I mean, if y'all wanna see something like that, let me know. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out, cause I know my last video, I had the, the comments turned off I don't know how to turn them back on yet. I'm going to figure that out uh, when I post this one, hopefully. Because uh, the videos I usually post, it's like iffy. They're on, they're off, they're on, they're off. Might be something I'm doing wrong when I post them. I'm going to figure it out. Um, so, uh, just look for more videos coming out. Uh, and uh, Probably, let's see. Probably the next couple videos, I might reveal what company I'm working for. Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. You know, this YouTube thing, people I watch, people who uh, watch them on YouTube, they'll go run their mouth to the company or something like that. Uh, you know, try to get them in trouble. I don't really need that right now, so it might be a little bit. I'm not saying y'all guys are like that, um, but there's people out there like that. Uh, but I, I, I'll consider it, you know, if I get the comments working, y'all can comment and tell me if y'all want to know what company I'm working for. Uh, I will tell y'all that I got my truck. I will release that. Um, I got my truck through SFI, Schneider Finance. Um, right now, if you decide to go there, uh, hit me up. I'm gonna uh, put my email down in the top or down in the, in the description. Um, hit me up. Uh, so um, y'all can get my referral. Uh, so, but usually the way it works, you can take these trucks anywhere you want. Do anything you want to them. You can start your own business straight out, get your own um, authority and everything like that if you want to. Uh, anything as long as long as you got insurance on these trucks and you make the payments, they don't really care. But once you like say, uh, say I'm with uh, a company and I want to leave that company to go to another company, I gotta pay them a little bit of money. And, but you gotta pay a deposit, but you get to use the deposit at the end of your contract to make that balloon payment. Uh, so it ain't like you're losing that money. It's just, they're gonna hold on to it. But, uh, there is that, but you can, you can go anywhere you want as long as you make the payments. It's not, it's not too big of a deal. Um, now, I'm trying to think. See, the company I'm with, uh, Well, the company I got my truck through, the way it works is I put a down payment because of, right now it's like a truck shortage, so you gotta wait on your truck when you uh, when you order it. Because you go, unless you want to use one, they got used ones, but the used ones, you just wait in them live because some people, a lot of people want used ones because uh, they don't have to pay as long on a truck. But if you get a brand new one, uh, I put, it's like, uh, 2000 down and then they gave me a $1,400 credit for for part of the down payment so it's $3,400 for the down payment um, and I waited I was going to get an international or no I'm sorry 
Uh, I was going to get a Freightliner Cascadia 2022, and uh, I was had to wait like two months for it. And uh, I was reading on the, uh, some of these groups, people who's got um, that do Freightliners, they're having a lot of problems out of them and stuff. So I said, let me call and see if I can switch to an International or a Volvo. Well, they had this International I got. They have one left in Phoenix. I was like, damn. Uh, can I get it? It's like, yeah, you can have it. Uh, so I flew down to Phoenix, did all that. The company I had uh, went has a terminal down there. I did my orientation and everything in Phoenix. Uh, got the truck. Uh, after after all that other bull crap we talked about in this video, and I think a little bit in the other video too happened. Um, got on the road. They sent me to Reno to get it empty. Uh, did all that. I booked the load from because there wasn't nothing coming back towards the house out that way. So I had to dead head all the way to Oklahoma City, book the load there to come home. But so far, the company the SFI is all right. You know, just that little bit of bull crap with the payment was kind of you know it's just little stuff that ticked me off. But I mean, they're they're straight. Uh, you know, they included a maintenance fund for you. Uh, so, with your truck payment, they're also taking $135 out every week to put in the maintenance fund that never maxes out. You can use that for any kind of maintenance problems you need. Tires, oil changes, you know, any problem. Like, something's wrong with your engine. You know, you have to put it in a shop. You can handle it. Uh, then, I volunteer. They have, um, like an accountant kind of a deal. Uh, I, I opted into that as 20 bucks a week. They help you with your finances, make sure that you're making the money you need to make for your truck. They'll, they'll help you do your taxes, all that. Um, so I opted into that. Uh, then I also, they have another uh, account you can have where uh, you can put as much money in it every week as you want. You can use that for your truck payment. So like you say instead of saving your money and putting it aside, you know, when you gotta take it out, they'll take it out and put it aside for you. You wanna go on vacation, but hey, you call you can call and let them know you want that truck payment took out of that account, and they'll do that for you. Um, so I opted in for that. So like all together roughly truck payment, maintenance. That I'm, I'm, I'm paying 1200 a week. Uh, then you got your insurance to the company that you're with. Uh, you know, it, it can vary. Um, so, but all together, all everything insurance, truck payment, uh, maintenance fund, all that's like 1800 bucks a week. Uh, you can get that in one load. Do another two or three loads a week. Everything's paid for except for your fuel. And uh, I mean, I'm looking at about $800 in fuel from the house to Texas and back to the house, roughly. Uh, not quite $800. It might be a little more. It might be a little less with the discounts I get on my fuel for the company I'm with. Um, but I. I'll go over all that in another video. We'll talk about what I made, uh, what I spend in fuel every week, and stuff like that. I just want to get a little bit further into uh, this before I start throwing out a lot of numbers at y'all. That's just the basis. Uh, what I've sat down and kind of calculated up. We'll find out when I start getting some paychecks uh, what the money looks like, and I'll make another video about it. But other than that, so far I like it. So far I like it. I'm enjoying this when I did a company driver because company driver, uh, I didn't have the freedom I have here doing this. And uh, I mean, I couldn't go home when I wanted. I couldn't uh, leave when I, I mean, I could leave when I wanted because they want you on the road all the time anyway. I couldn't decide where I wanted to go, you know. It's a company I was with, rail, as y'all know. They, they, they said they can't be up northeast. Uh, Midwest. I mean, Midwest is all right, but I like South, Southwest. You know, maybe Northwest. Like, 
Minnesota, Wisconsin, Indiana areas. Um, that's you know that's my general area. I like to run, so that's the areas I'm gonna try to stay in if the money's there. If not, I'm gonna go where the money is, of course. Except for Northeast, I, you can get good loads up. You can't get the good loads out. Uh, so, but we'll talk. I'll talk about the lanes I plan on running, and uh, we'll go over. I, I won't. I can't show you the load board. Like I said, confidential and all that good stuff. But I can write certain stuff down and uh, I'll show it to you on a piece of paper, my lanes I want to run, the money I can make in each lane. Uh, but I will tell y'all that it's looking okay. I'm not going to get rich here. Uh, and I plan on staying here for a while, maybe six months to a year. I plan on switching to another company I've got my eyes on where I can make a lot more money. Um, and, but other than that, that's the goals for right now. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about my day so far. Okay. I shut down at the Welcome Center coming out of Louisiana and Mississippi. If anybody's been there, there's a NASA place right beside of it. It's a Welcome Center. You come off the interstate and get on this. U.S. Highway, go you know, this big loop into the Welcome Center, right? Well, slept there last night. I got there. I had 11 minutes left on my clock for the day, uh, so I pushed it, pushed it pretty far. Um, so I did that. I woke up this morning at about 5:20. I left out at about 5:40. Uh, I did my pre-trip, you know. Got myself woke up before I sat down and got on the road because you don't want to get on the road tired. I uh, moved around, got myself woke up, used the bathroom, all that good stuff. Uh, and then got on the interstate. Now, I think it was got on ten. I believe it was ten, either ten or twelve. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But um, got on the interstate. Ten miles down the road, bumper to bumper traffic, right? And uh, if y'all been watching the news here lately, you know that Hurricane Ida is about to hit Louisiana, Mississippi area. Well, everybody's evacuating. Cars packed full of junk going down the interstate, out east. Well, bumper bumper traffic. It took me an hour and a half to get 27 miles. Well, when I got up there, some man decided he couldn't evacuate. Louisiana without his damn sailboat. So he wrecked his truck, jack knocked him, flipped the sailboat, crumpled the whole back end of his truck up because he couldn't leave his sailboat at home in the, in the storm. Uh, so that happened. And that had me, that had me pretty hot. Um, so. Let's fast forward down the road about three hours driving. Okay, two cars in front of me. All of a sudden, five cars just hit each other. Cars start flying everywhere. Oh, uh, radiator fluid, gasoline, and it tore them all up. It was all over the ground. Was, I was, man, I, you know, it took me a good bit to get stopped. And lucky, I got stopped. This thing is heavy. It's 70. What was it, like 78,000 pounds? The load I'm pulling all together, everything. And uh, I got stopped. You know, everybody they was all you know, over doing what they were doing, you know, being crackheads because they can't drive and wreck, you know, about cause, you know, big, big, bigger accident than what it should have been. Shouldn't have been no accident. Probably somebody was playing on the phone. But that, that happened today. Uh, what else? Uh, then I was taking a 30 minute break, pulled off the exit, went to take a 30 minute break at a Love's Park, got me something to eat. I got myself for dinner later. Uh, got, go to get back on the interstate. Well, they done closed the damn interstate ramp, put detour signs. I had to go through detour through this little ass town, tight ass turns, to get back on the interstate. And then, right, like, 0.2, 0.3, I can see the interstate, it's like 0.2 miles from where I'm at. Cops had the whole roadblock 
because of a funeral service. People were trying to get into the thing. I had to wait. Oh, man, it's been a rough day. And so, I've been sitting here. I've been talking to God. I've been praying. Because I'm trying to stop cussing. I'm trying to live my best life. Uh, I'm trying to praise God for everything I've done, everything I'm doing, everything I've got. My family's been happy and healthy, fed. All my bills are paid. I'm trying, trying my best to live my best life. And, uh, man, it's been rough. You know, I'm trying to stop cussing. Then you get out here on the road, I'm praying to God, give me the willpower to stop cussing and all this. And people get out here and they just look over, like, right in front of you, like this far in front of me. Slam on their brakes. Or do whatever they do, man. Like idiots. And uh, it takes, uh, I feel my blood pressure going up. And I have to, I just, uh, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I, I be cussing even though I'm trying to quit. Like these stupid mother efforts, you know, and stuff like that. And that I'm trying to stop. So, there ain't going to be much cussing. I'm going to try to keep the cussing to a minimum on this channel. Because I don't want to cuss. I know I cuss a lot. It's part of my vocabulary now. Everybody that talks to me, they just know I cuss. But I want to cut it out. You know, I want this to be a family channel because I know I want You know, this is a good job. It's not like some of these YouTubers make it out to be. You're not going to get rich doing this. You know. But you might be better off doing this than you would be working in a factory. That's my goal. I'm going to show you the real truth about trucking on this channel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, the money I make, though, is going to be different than what some of y'all might make doing this. Because I am an owner-operator now. Uh, but some of these company drivers make good money. There's some companies I'm going to throw out there uh, eventually. Uh, I'm going to do me some research y'all I'm gonna put it on here the best companies I think that's gonna pay the best uh, then I'm gonna put the companies on here that I know don't pay the best but you get good training so you choose pick and choose what you want good training or money that's that's gonna be a video I'm gonna make I got some ideas um, if I get the comments working I want y'all to comment down below what y'all think uh, I should make videos about I will do a truck tour eventually. I gotta get my truck, you know, the way I want. I want to put lights up and all this good stuff. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it's kind of long, 22 minutes. Uh, you know, a little rant here and there. But, but uh, that's gonna be it, man. I uh, just want y'all to keep trucking on. And uh, thanks for watching.